It's difficult now because uh, the, the landscape is changing. So erlotinib is still a drug available to all patients with non-small cell lung cancer in a refractory setting, and I think it's routinely used that way. But one can make an argument that erlotinib is becoming more of a first-line drug for patients with EGFR-activating mutations. So based on this study, you would think that uh, the role for pazoptinib should be in refractory patients. Mm -hmm. the, the question is, is whether this effect is real and whether additional studies are going to help, uh, help uh, show what kind of patients can benefit. Uh, it's presently unclear uh, if there's a huge appetite for developing not just pazoptinib but VEGF receptor TKIs because so far, serafinib, sunitinib, motacinib, sidirinib, either because of toxicity issues or lack of efficacy, are not being developed further in non-small cell lung cancer. So will pazopinib, will, will some of the newer drugs, exitinib, uh, I mean, tevotinib, uh, are those going to be uh, developed? I think it remains to be seen.